All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new So here's the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullets in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take it out and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov. He is ready to go so away for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Juggernaut. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibagamena. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Go. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There aren't a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Nice front kick. Saw's reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Big right hand, yes. Yeah. Able to check that kick as well. He's loading up the high kick. Oh, Superman punch. And that one certainly found the target.
Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, that head kick landed. Trying to get the knees going. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Nurmagomedov. Good jab. Nurmagomedov going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Under two minutes to go. Oh, good work with the jab there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, nice. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice jab by Nurmagomedov. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Not there. That was a big check. One minute to go in the round. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Tremendous head kick last for this guy. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, nice jab to the head by Nurmagomedov. He's doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Ten seconds to go in the round. Round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Just out of range with that right hand. He's got that jab working, nicely done. Pretty significant well to the left side. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful technique on that straight punch. Just misses with the jab there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lands a solid kick right there. Just misses with that one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes to go. Big shot to the head. Oh, and he lands again. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Finish with the right kick. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Nermago Meta. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And he counters with a hook, and he landed the punch there, or so it appeared. Nice job by Nermago Meta. Straight right is there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of it. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's ripe for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. 90 seconds to go. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Oh, well, now you really are starting to see the damage inflicted by the opponent all over that left thigh. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Oh, left hand landed. Final seconds. Great block there. Good round. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead sustained in that round. The cut man has 60 seconds now to close it up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here moving forward. You're down right now, but I need you to work hard. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. 
Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Body shot there. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Forward, forward, forward. Circling to his right. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Nice uppercut. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Real quick leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, nice. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Head kick partially blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. seconds to go. Oh, great block there. Well, calf kicks have changed the game, and there is another one. A lot of swelling now on that lower level. Of his I mean, it's all purple and black, John. This guy's getting his legs destroyed. Slips. Oh, nice jab. Under a minute now to go in the round. Fighter lands a left. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Slips. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work.
All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety right, has to be first now. Right. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here you go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to want to fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right on the button. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. Circling to his right. Trading real shot. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Oh! oh! Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. And still undefeated, and now a knockout artist, perhaps not.